Hey everyone, we've got two selfie drones for you. We've got the Dobbin, which looks an awful lot like a Dobby, and the Ishin E56, which looks an awful lot like the DJI Spark. Now, it's actually probably not fair to compare either of those drones to the drones they're supposed to look like, so we're going to compare them to each other, which, you know what? They're fairly similar. They're both lightweight, portable, foldable selfie drones. So, let's take a look. Hey guys, Half Chrome. Today I've got a couple of new uh, drones coming out for the Christmas season. They're both selfie drones. Uh, first, I've got the FQ777 Dobbin, also known as the FQ18. I know, that's a mouthful. If this thing looks familiar, that's probably because you've seen the Dobby. Looks just like a Dobby. Uh, does it perform like a Dobby? Well, we'll talk. Then I've got this guy over here from Isheen. This is the E56. Again, this may look familiar, right? It was supposed to look a whole lot like the DJI Spark, and it does, right? Does it perform like a Spark? Well, that's another thing. Um, so uh, we've got the Dobbin, we've got the E56. Let's let's kind of compare and contrast these two drones. They are about the same size. Um, I'd say the Dobbin is a little bit heavier. Uh, the E56 a little bit lighter. Uh, the Dobbin has this remote control transmitter. Uh, it's got a place where you can put your cell phone, which is nice. Um, it feels good. It's a gamepad style remote. It's a little bit small. It kind of feels a little outdated to me, a little plasticky. They could have done a nicer job on that, but nevertheless, it works okay. Um, the remote on the E56 is this guy here. Definitely different. You'll see only one joystick. Um, this is basically the throttle control, and then you tilt the drone uh, remote left and right or forward or back to control which way it goes. Uh, both of these things have the standard altitude hold, headless mode, uh, their cameras tilt up and down. Uh, the Isheen here has a full 90 degrees of travel, whereas this Dobbin only tilts just a little bit. Um, they're both HD 720p cameras, so they take decent pictures, especially outdoors, in good light. Um, what else can I tell you? They both come in little carrying cases, the Dobbin and this nice little felt bag. Uh, bad news here, you can't get the remote in there, so just the drone. So if you want to just fly with your smartphone, you can. Um, the Isheen comes with this fancy little case, which I really like. It fits the remote in here. It did kind of smell when I first got it, uh, kind of like beyond new car smell. But uh, hey, Isheen even thought of that. They included this little lavender packet to make it smell nice. Actually, the smell went away after about a day or so of being opened. Um, the nice thing about both of these drones is that they are small, they are compact. Uh, they fold up to take with you. Um, in terms of how they fly, we'll get them both up in the air. You can take a look at that. But uh, the Dobbin here is a little bit more powerful, a little bit faster. Uh, but I do believe this e and this E56, a little bit more stable. So uh, you kind of kind of figure out what it is you're looking for. Now, compared to some other selfie drones that we have here, if we want to take a look at these um, in terms of size, um, they're about, you know, this is kind of the original, the Elfie. They're both a little bit bigger than that. This is an E52, uh, probably pretty comparable. And I've got this guy here. This is another new model. Uh, we'll do a full review on this as well. This is the JJRC. H49 Soul. You can tell this thing is a lot smaller. I really like the engineering on this. Somebody did a nice job. Also has an HD camera, so that is kind of fun. So let's get some of these up in the air and we can see how they fly. All right, so first up, we've got the Isheen E56. Yes, it looks like a DJI Spark, but that's really where the comparison ends, right? The Spark is an awesome machine with a great camera, GPS, all sorts of features. This is a selfie drone. It's under $50. It's got altitude hold, which is pretty nice. It folds up. It's really portable. It's fun to fly, uh, but it certainly isn't <laughs> at all like the Spark. But uh, it has some unique features, and one of them is actually how you pilot this thing. You can either pilot it with your smartphone, or you can use the included remote. Now this remote looks different than pretty much any other drone remote we've ever seen because it only has one stick, one gimbal, one joystick. You hold it with your hand, you tilt it back and forth, and the drone responds in the direction you want it to go. You lean it forward or back, and it moves forward or back. Right? The uh, stick that you have is basically the throttle and the yaw. It's got some buttons, headless mode, things like that. It does take pictures. It does do flips. 
like I said, it's a lot of fun. Now let's take a look at the Dobbin. We actually took the Dobbin to a local skate park. Well, why not? Because it's fun. And you know what? The Dobbin loves to do uh, tricks. Let's watch it grind a rail. No, but uh, it is a fun little venue, so we thought we'd flat around here. Like the uh, e Sheen, it's got an altitude hold, uh, one key takeoff. It's got a HD camera, two megapixels, same as the E56. This thing really kind of zips around. It flies a lot faster than most of these selfie drones that we're accustomed to, which makes this thing a whole lot of fun. It's a little bigger, it's a little bit heavier actually, but uh, you know what, that gives it a little bit more zip. It's got a thousand milliamp hour battery, which is you know bigger than most. Uh, but this thing was made to take selfies. There's one there, right? It takes pretty crisp pictures, as you can see. Um, one of the issues, though, is the camera tilts up and down, and you can see it's kind of flapping around here. We actually had to tape it into place, and here we got it taped to the drone so it doesn't bounce. It's nice and stable, and the video is pretty good. So we're going to fly around the basement here, which is a mess. I'm sorry. Half Chrome Labs, check it out. Lots of fun, lots of filming, lots of videos happen down here. Uh, but you can see there's no video stabilization here, right? If the drone moves, the video moves. So if you fly nice and slow, which we could do a better job of here, the picture's a lot better. So you gotta keep that in mind. Again, not like the Dobby, and how those things will stabilize the images for you, but you're gonna pay a pretty penny for those drones. The Dobby uh, is about 250 and the Spark just under 400. Now here we've got some video of the Isshin E56. Like the Dobbin, it also is a 720p 2 megapixel camera. Um, you can see same thing, no video stabilization. So if we fly nice and slow, right, the picture is pretty good. But if we move around, the picture moves around. So that is something you're going to have to keep in mind. I do like the camera on this one a little bit more. What's up, buddy? Hanging out in the chair there. Um, I like it a little bit more uh, for the fact that you can angle it a little bit more, right? This uh, camera tilts a full 90 degrees. So if you really wanted to, you can angle it straight forward or you can angle it straight down and get some video of what's below like this. I think it's a neat shot, something you can't really do with the Dobbin. Spin it around, kind of neat field of view is a little bit more limited on the E56, the uh, Dobbin a little bit wider. Here's some selfies we took with the E56 that you can see. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked our video. There's a whole lot more drones at halfchrome.com, so check that out and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll take a few more looks here at both the FQ777 Dobbin and the Isshin E56. Again, two nice selfie drones. Check them out.